I am in the Netherlands to test drive a world premiere nobody has ever seen. People doesn't even know the bus exists. This is the BYD B12 Blade Battery Bus. I'm standing in front of a world premiere. Behind me, it's a bus from BYD. The bus is called the B12 and it has a blade battery system and the battery lays all the way down in the floor. Nothing is on the roof anymore. Creates a lower gravity point, the design is more modern and the interior is spacious and light. And we are the first one in the world to test drive this bus on public roads. Welcome behind the steering wheel of this brand new BYD B12. So let's take a first look at the position here for the driver. I will close my driver's door. This is open and closed with a magnet. So I have to push a button here that will open the door. I have my armrests and I will fasten my seatbelt. And then Let's take a look at all the buttons. As we can see here, we have the door buttons to my right. One, two, three. That's for the first, second and the third door. Above that, we have the kneeling system. Here we have the start stop button. That's become much smaller now. Before it was a quite big circle. Now it's a better shape. It's very nice and small, but it's maybe too small. If you didn't drive this bus before, it might be hard to see it at the first time. Then you have the transmission. D for drive, N for neutral and R for reverse. And above that we actually have the rail system for the pantograph. I think that's why we hear all this noise right now because I was uh, unlucky to push it earlier <laughs> and now I have started the circus with the sounds. The steering wheel is uh, new or it's not brand new because we also seen this one in the trucks of BYD. We have a multifunction, you can steer the cruise control here to your left and we have other function buttons here to the right. The display is also brand new and it's very nice and easy. Chinese buses have a tendency to have too much information. You can push a button and then you see all the signs on earth about the vehicle. Here you only have what you need. You see how much kilowatts you're using, you see your speed, you see your battery capacity and you see if you regenerate or if you're using battery power. To your left you have your light switch for exterior lights. You can adjust your steering wheel. Not a lot and you can see uh, when you adjust the steering wheel you also move the whole dashboard. I wish they could integrate a whole system where the dashboard is standing still and you can actually only adjust the steering wheel. That's so much better looking. To the left we have other function buttons but my favorite so far would be the electrical side window. And oh my god look at this big big side window and you know I love a big side window. And also to mention on the side window we also have a lowered side so you can also now see a lot more even lower. That eliminates the blind spots and it's perfect for me as a driver. It's a light big environment to sit here and drive. Also, as a driver, I'm placed a little bit higher than I normally am in an electric bus because it's more safety features in the front of this vehicle. It's built a little bit higher, it's more material, it's more that will cover if you will have a crash. So I feel safer in this bus than what I would do in the old versions of the BYD. And it doesn't feel like a BYD anymore because the design has been better outside. Now even the interior here is starting to get nicer. The Chinese buses are coming. First time we were looking at one of these buses from BYD was in 2013 and they didn't look any good at all. We are now 10 years later and they are starting to look so much better. But now it's time for us to take this brand new electrical bus out on the road. And I will now release the handbrake, but I will not even touch the handbrake. I just push down the brake, set it into drive and the electronical handbrake 
could release itself when I push the throttle. Perfect. So now we are driving BYD B12, the brand new Blade Battery Bus on Dutch roads. And people are actually looking at us because they have never seen this bus before, including myself. I never seen this bus before I saw it this morning. And this is the first few meters I am operating the bus. We are now driving a prototype of a brand new bus model and this is what we have to test so this is also what we have to review. And we did have quite many problems this morning while starting up the bus. We were taking some photos and when we started up the bus again, nothing worked. After a while the bus became alive but then the power steering was gone. And then other problems, we couldn't change the transmission, we couldn't get it into drive or reverse. So we did have some struggles with this bus this morning. Now we are on the wheels and we will make a good report of the new BYD B12 Blade Battery Bus. This bus is 12 meter long, it is 30 seats on board, and the total capacity is 105 persons. And it is a good capacity and it's a light, spacious environment. I actually like the interior of this bus. The total capacity on this bus is 450 kilowatt hour, and that gives a range of uh, maybe 350 kilometers. Even though BYD claims this bus to go 600 kilometers in one charge. But now we have 80% left on the battery and the system tell us we do have 250 kilometers. So I don't think that the 20 extra percent will give us 400 kilometers of range. comfortably seated and I'm a little bit surprised by that I don't want to be that guy that oh no this is the Chinese bus and all of that but you have your imagination when you're sitting down behind the steering wheel and the steering wheel is working nice I see everything I need the thing I'm a little bit worried about is the digital mirrors we do have one standing mirror and one wide angle mirror on both sides standing on top wide angle on low but I don't feel the wide angle mirror is giving me anything. It points just straight down and gives me tiny little bit more of the front of the bus than the big angle does, but not a lot. But again, it is a prototype. I guess that this is not the final version of it that we're seeing here today. But we don't only have the digital mirrors, we also have cameras for the 360 degree and there is also a camera for each individual door. So here to my right on the dashboard I have two monitors that will show me the back doors and also the 360 degree. But one thing I really adore with this driver space is that we do have a cup holder here and that's not only it because the cup holder has two buttons it's an electric cup holder the one button will keep your drink cool and the other button will keep your drink warm i can charge absolutely everything i own in this driver space when i film my videos i have a lot of equipment i need to charge from cameras to sound gear to light here i have 2000 usb ports straight behind my left arm not 2000 is for, but it's very brilliant. You can charge your phone. And if you have any equipment for that you need for driving, then you can also charge it here. Very, very nice uh, feature for you as a driver. There is good capacity in my driver door to store documents, to store my own backpack. It's even one more cup holder, but without the magic. And this bus also prevents you from drinking alcohol on work because there is the alcohol lock. And this is the interior of the bus. And look at this lightning. The whole roof is one big light panel. And on the side you have ambient lighting and it changes in all the colors of the rainbow. This is a very cool, spacious, nice and modern interior. But we didn't find any dimming setting for the light roof. It's either on like this 
or off. It would have been nice to have one more dimmed version of the light as well. On the side, you have the stop buttons. As I mentioned, they are very sensitive. Sounding like that. Here we have the electrical wheelchair ramp. Tom will very soon show you that in his tech talk. And here is the space for the wheelchair and the baby stroller. And you might wonder, why is it suddenly dark? We waited until dark to show you this beautiful ambient light. So now, take a look at this disco bus. And if you are tired of partying, you can always uh, choose to sit down. And the seats are very simple and nice. All seats are equipped with USB chargers. On the front of the bus, they are on the sidewall. On the back here, they are in the roof. Both USB A and C. It is a bit more narrow here than what we expect because we do have everything else so low in the floor with the batteries and stuff. And the only thing that keeps this getting a bit more narrow is the brake component. So let's hope that one day they will uh, widen that a little bit. But I think it is uh, quite many seats here and the corners are rounded so it's very easy to clean. But I have one thing I have to talk about before I will let Tom do his tech talk. I have been driving this bus for many hours now and the mirrors are getting me on the nerves. They are brand new but they don't work at all. We can drive and drive and drive and I don't see that I have any cars straight behind on me. And now when it's getting dark the mirrors are almost useless. I don't see what I need to see and I almost feel like I have no vision, especially to my back part of the bus. BYD gets a better mirror system on this bus. But now it's time to go back to daylight and Tom's Tech Talk. Welcome to my Tech Talk. Behind me, we have a world premiere. It's a BYD B12 with blade battery technology in the floor. Come on, let's take a look at this bus. As you can see, I think BYD have stolen a lot of ideas from other brands. You see the headlamps, it's standing. It's similar to what you can see on the Yutong buses. You have the round light still from Hella. Quite easy to change if you need. And also, on top of the bus, you can see the line that is similar to the MIN Line City. When we move along the bus, you can see this small camera here. They have placed them several places around the bus to get an overview of the area, the blind spots and also the bird view of the bus. On this BYD, you have digital mirror and inside you have the normal angle and you have the wide angle. As you can see, you have a double door that is turning inside in the front and you also have two double doors in the back that is sliding on the side of the bus. And that makes it easy to get into the bus and out from the bus. Another thing that I could find on this bus is there is an electric wheelchair ramp. I don't like that. I like the manual style. And on this one, it's working from the driver position. The system is a little bit confusing for the passenger because the doors is starting to open and then after 10 centimeters open, they stops and the ramp is sliding out before the doors open completely and the same when they close down. So it looks strange for the passenger side, it takes time. I think it, it's a shorter time to just do the manual way. More and more buses have batteries in the floor. You have VDL, you have Ebusco, and now we have BYD. On all of this, you have the same low level of floors. It's a little bit strange that you can have 450 kilowatt hour batteries only in the floor and they are not more than 10 centimeters thick. So they have done a lot of technology and um, moving forward in uh, this style of uh, building buses. So it's good and I think we will see more and more brands coming with this solution. On top of all the doors, you have lights that go on when you open the door and that give you good visibility in the dark. You have so many options when it comes to axles on electric buses. Some have central engine that is connected to a normal axle and some other one have engine in the hub, like this one. Here you have two electric engines, one on both sides, that have 150 kilowatt power, and it gives you enough power to go up the hills in more or less all type of terrain. And take a look at this beautiful butt. <laughs> it's beautiful design. You have the black surface, so you can put your stickers on or you can leave it as it is. It's nice. And you can also see they have the standing lights and the round lights in the back. And that's the same in the front and the back. I'm so bored saying the same every time. So thank you for watching my tech talk. I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs>
I think it's a really interesting thing to see a brand new bus from BYD. We have seen the buses now for some years and the changes have been very very small, closer to zero. But if you take a look from the first BYD bus that came in 2013 until what we see today, the changes have been extreme. But this bus starts to look very modern and nice. But personal taste? I don't like the standing headlights. I like more laying headlights, so this is something I need to cope with, but I don't think that's a big problem for the big European bus market. And I've seen today when we have been driving around in the city centers, people have been turning their heads and looking at the bus, pointing, saying, wow, this was a cool bus. So BYD have done something correct here with the design, but I also know that this is a prototype and we have found a lot of failures on this model. So hopefully they will be able to fix all these failures, create this as a bus with a good futuristic uh, design and also for the passengers. It is very interesting to see a brand new bus model from BYD and I expect to see this bus in several different models in the years to come. And maybe we know BYD and China are producing very fast, so I don't think it's a long time until we will see another model of exactly this bus. Thank you so much for watching the video here today. And if you like what you see, please click down here. The button is called subscribe, and then you will see all the future videos here on Bus Magazine. Until next time, drive safely and have a great day.